Over the past decade, we have seen a plethora of athletes dip under the 44 second barrier in the 400 meters. Everyone from Karani James and LaShawn Merritt to Hakeem Bloomfield and Isaac McQuala. We also saw Michael Johnson's world record get taken down by Wade Van Niekerk when he ran 43.03 seconds at the 2016 Olympic Games. Since 2016, we have seen Steven Gardner take hold of the event, winning silver behind Van Niekerk in 2007, world championship gold in 2019, and Olympic gold in Tokyo last year. As the 2022 world championships in Eugene, Oregon approach, the men's 400 meter field has become even more competitive, and there are a few guys looking to not only get onto the podium, but also potentially dethrone Gardner as the reigning world champion. So let's dive in and take a look at some of those guys who have very good chances to medal in the 400 meters at the 2022 world championships in Eugene, Oregon. Let's start off with Steven Gardner. Now, Gardner has been dominating the 400 meters for the past four years. He broke 44 seconds for the first time when he ran 43.89 seconds in the semifinals of the 2017 World Championships in London before going on to win a silver medal behind Van Niekerk in the final. He followed that up during the off year in 2018 and ran 43 seconds on two occasions at the Doha and Shanghai Diamond Leagues respectively. 2019 was his big year though, where he went undefeated in the regular season, then won the world championship gold in a time of 43.48 seconds, a personal best and moving him to number six all time in the event. Of course, the following year, aside from one DNF race, Garner again went undefeated and eventually went on to comfortably win the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo in a time of 43.85 seconds, his second fastest time ever. This year, Gardner has comfortably won his 400 meter races in 44.22, 44.21, and his easy qualifying race at the Bahamian National Trials. Now, many have Gardner as the prohibitive favorite for the 400 meter gold, based not only on his ability to win throughout the season, but also win when it matters, as well as running fast times when he needs to. So, look out for Gardner to potentially defend his title in Eugene. Next up, we have Michael Norman. Now, Norman has had an up and down career when it comes to major championships, which has led many to question his ability to medal in 2022. Despite his setbacks though, he has run very fast times. Of course, he owns the world indoor record at 44.52 seconds from 2018. His outdoor personal best of 43.45 from 2019 also makes him number five all time, only behind Van Niekerk, Michael Johnson, Butch Reynolds, and Jeremy Warner. Unfortunately though, he has faced setbacks which have prevented him from winning a medal at a global championships. Injury in 2019 kept him out of the finals in Doha, and at the Tokyo Olympics, though he did make it to the final, he was only able to finish fifth place. This year seems to have been a resurgence for Norman though. He has already run 43.56 and 43.60 seconds, winning at Prefontaine and USA Championships respectively. Those are his second and third fastest times ever and is now not only back in the conversation for a medal, but is a serious threat for the gold as well. Let's move over to Karani James, the veteran of the field. James has already won Olympic gold, silver, and bronze in 2012, 16, and 2021 respectively, and has also won world championship gold and bronze. Though his personal best is only 43.72, that's still number 12 all time, and he has run sub 44 seconds eight times through his career, most recently 43.88 in the Tokyo semifinals last year. That race, along with his eventual bronze medal, were super important as it showed that he is back to his old ways. He was set back due to Graves disease and did not run between 2017 and 2019, but he came back and he is now looking for a world championship medal 10 years after his first back in 2011. This year, James has already run 44.02 seconds at the Prefontaine Classic right behind Norman, but is undefeated in all other races for the year. Look for Karani James to not only challenge for a spot on the podium, but maybe even sneak ahead and grab another gold medal. 
Moving over to Michael Cherry. Now, Cherry is the defending Diamond League champion, having won in Zurich at the end of 2021. He is coming off one of the best seasons we have ever seen for a 400 meter runner, where he ran 44 seconds in 14 out of 15 races. He again capped things off with a win at the Diamond League final, as well as a personal best of 44.03 seconds last year. The Tokyo Olympics was actually his first individual team for the United States, and he finished fourth place in that Olympic final, barely missing out on the bronze by two hundredths of a second. By way of winning the Diamond League last year, he has the wild card to Eugene this year, which has been super helpful. A few setbacks this year have kept him out of a few races, including USA Championships. But Cherry has already run 44.28 seconds this year and is not to be slept on. 2022 could be the year we finally see Michael Cherry on the podium. Let's talk about Matthew Hudson Smith from Great Britain. Hudson Smith seems to be hitting on all cylinders in 2022. At the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, he ran a personal best of 44.35 seconds, which is just off the European record of 44.33 seconds set all the way back in 1987. He also has times of 44.61, 44.82, and 44.92 seconds this year, showing some great consistency. Though he isn't running 43 seconds right now, he has been in some high quality competitions, having won the 2018 European Championships, as well as competed in the 2016 Olympic Finals. If Hudson Smith's form this year is any indication of what he can do in Eugene, definitely look out for him to challenge for a medal. Moving back to the United States, we have Randolph Ross, the 2021 and 2022 NCAA champion. Last year, he ran 43.85 seconds to win the NCAA title, which actually held as the equal world leading performance for the 2021 year, along with Steven Gardner. Though he did qualify and compete at the Tokyo Olympic Games, he unfortunately didn't perform well, not able to make it out of the 400 meter heats. This year, he again made the 400 meter team, finishing third place at the USA Championships, and though he has yet to break 44 seconds, it will be interesting to see if he can improve on his performance in Tokyo. Now, along with Norman, Cherry, and Ross, champion Allison will be competing for the United States. Allison made a huge name for himself in 2022. At the NCAA Championships, he ran a personal best of 44.29 seconds in the semifinal and then went on to run 44.41 in the final, finishing second place behind Randolph Ross. Then, at the USA Championships, after a 44.80 second run in the semis, Allison threw down a time of 43.70 seconds to finish second place in the final right behind Michael Norman. That moved Allison up to number 10 all time in the 400 meters and put him right in the conversation as a medal threat. Look for champion Allison to challenge for a podium spot in Eugene. Next up, we have Jonathan Jones from Barbados. Last year, Jones only made it to the semifinals at the Olympic Games, but 2022 has already been a huge setup for him going into these world championships. He not only improved his personal best down to 44.43 seconds, but he also finished fourth place at the NCAA Outdoor Championships. More importantly, he has been extremely consistent in the 44 second range, running times of 44.43, 44.79, 44.85, 44.93, and 44.97. Jones should have a good shot to not only make his first global final, but also potentially spoil that party on the medal podium if things go his way. Finally, we can't leave out Wade Van Niekerk, the 2016 Olympic gold medalist, 2015 and 2017 world champion, and of course the world record holder at 43.03 seconds. Now, Van Niekerk has dealt with injury the past couple years, which kept him out of competition during 2018, 2019, and 2020. But he came back in 2021, though he was unable to make it out of the semifinals in Tokyo. This year, Van Niekerk has run 44.58 seconds early in July, so he's showing some very good form. But we do have to keep in mind, Last year, he also ran times of 44.56 and 44.87 prior to the Olympic Games, 
So this may not give us as much insight into what will really occur in Eugene, but we can never count out the world record holder. So keep a lookout for Wade Van Niekerk. A few other guys to note who might be in the mix, Anthony Zambrano from Colombia. He's a silver medalist from 2019 and 2021, though he is currently injured and recently actually noted that he may not run the world championships this year. And his only mark in 2022 is 46.90 seconds. So of course not sure of his status. Isaac Makwala of Botswana. He's run 44 seconds multiple times throughout his career, but has never made it onto a podium. His best global finishes are fifth place in Beijing 2015 and seventh place in Tokyo last year. This year, he's run a season's best of 45.03, but is always dangerous. Lidio Andres Feliz from the Dominican Republic is also making some noise. He's run a personal best of 44.64 seconds this year, as well as times of 44.71, 44.83, and 44.92. That consistency under 45 seconds could bode well for his chances to make his first major global final. Kenya's Emmanuel career is always a wild card. He doubled at both the 2019 World Championships and the Tokyo Olympics in the 400 and 800 meters. In Tokyo, he false started in the 400 meter heat, so didn't actually get to run, but he of course went on to win gold in the 800 meters. While in Doha, he actually finished sixth place in the 400 meter final. He has a personal best of 44.21 seconds and has already run 44.87 seconds this year. I'm not sure if Career is going to do the 400-800 double again, but look out for him if he does dip his toe into 400 meters in Eugene. There are definitely a plethora of men who I didn't mention, but overall it's clear that the men's 400 meters has a ton of guys in the mix, not only for the medals, but potentially for gold as well. So who do I think will win gold, silver, and bronze at the world championships? It's actually really, really hard for me to separate the top three, Steven Gardner, Michael Norman, and Karani James. I think this race is gonna come down to a very close finish. Maybe separate the top three by two tenths of a second, which isn't too much in the 400 meters. But I know this is gonna sound kind of crazy since he's not as fast as the other two, but I'm actually gonna slightly lean, I'm leaning towards Karani James for gold. It's almost by an edge, but I think James can actually pull out this gold medal. What he did the past few years, coming back from Graves' disease, dealing with some personal issues, but managing to finish fifth place in Doha 2019, then winning bronze in Tokyo 2021, and not only that, but running 43.8 seconds in the Tokyo semifinals, that shows that Karani James is still capable of running fast and performing when it counts. So I'm gonna edge Karani James into the gold medal position. After that, I'm gonna say Michael Norman will get silver and Steven Gardner will get the bronze. Again, I think any of these guys can really win the gold medal. Steven Gardner is super consistent, has been undefeated at the gold medal for the past couple years. Michael Norman has run super, super fast multiple times this year and is showing some great form. But I really think any of these three guys can win the gold medal. Though I don't think a world record is in play, all three of them setting personal bests is very, very possible. Now, these are my personal predictions though, and I very well could be completely wrong once they all line up and run that race in Eugene. So let me hear from you. Go in the comments below and let me know who you think will medal in the 400 meters at the World Championships in Eugene, and even let me know who you think are some dark horses to potentially surprise and challenge for a medal as well. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.